Started with John Piatelli, but it was a group effort getting back into that game and a really good opportunity for a marquee at a conference win for both of these teams. Violation off the start, Cornell will possess. Cornell gave up nine goals in the first 20 minutes, 11 seconds against Syracuse on Monday. Yes, Christopher Davis on him for Cornell. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Both of these teams going deep into possession. Here's a chance and a score by Gunnar Phillip. Opens the scoring here just about three minutes in and Army on top, 1-0. Cornell loves to go early from a sliding perspective. They send the pole out pretty early every time, but what happens sometimes is when you do that, you get lost as you get another look at the replay. You see the slide from Doria, and Cornell just gets lost in scramble mode. Great feed up top, and an excellent shot by Phillip to get the scoring started here in Ithaca. Esposito turns the corner, gets it back up top. Bounce shot, and that one is good for a goal. Bo Waters converts for Army, and it's a 2-0 Black Knight lead. And just a great move down the alley. Two times now we've seen Erlen beat high to low on these low bounce shots. As you get another look, attacks the short stick. Great shot on the run. Is uh, Will Coletti for Army able to scoop this one up? He carries a hit, puts on the shot, and a goal. Coletti right off his own faceoff win. Better than 50% on the season, maybe more impressively better or just at 70% the last two yeah. games as, as he heats up. You saw right there the kind of opportunities it can create for Army. And in situations like this, when you have a fast break from a face-off guy, normally you want to force in Midfielders. Holmes has it. Behind the cage, Holmes. 14 seconds left on possession. Holmes trying to dodge free in front. Wertheim grabs it, shoots, and that one is stopped. Terrific save, and now Army in transition. So Schupler, big stop early, is didn't have the outlet. Kelleher has it. Back to Long, six seconds. Long may have to take it himself. He does put on the shot. That one is, looks like it's in the Johnson turns, fires, bounces it past Erlin and Army on top, 4 nothing. I think we'll have a timeout here for Cornell, and so we'll step aside as well. Army off to a fast start, 4 nothing. Black Knights. This is College here Lacrosse on ESPN. Under 10 to go on the shot clock. Here's Nick Turn. Winding and firing and scoring for Army is Danny Kilbasa. Bounce shot makes it 5 nothing. Black Knights. It's a shot from way outside, but you can't execute a bounce shot better than that. High bounces are so tough for goaltenders to stop because instinctively you're going down as you get another look at this one. You see Erlen start down and then ends up in the roof of the net, Jason, and the goaltending they're getting is unbelievable. When you have a big lead like that, it feels even bigger when you're dominating in those areas. Phillip goes to his left, pulls it back, and hands off to Abshire. Here's Nick Turn. Nick Turn on net, dropping and scoring. Drew the flag as well. Army now on top, 6 nothing. Nick Turn becomes Army's sixth different goal scorer this afternoon. And this is just a terrific goal. Look at him attack, straight into the chest of the defender, get inside, and the then... Goal was scored by number 20. Kielbasa leaves it, picked up. Bjork works it up top. 20 seconds left on possession. Bo Waters spinning around. Puts on the shot, top corner, it's in. 7 nothing. Army over the fourth-ranked Cornell Big Red here early in the second. Just another great move. Down the alley on the right side. We saw him go high to low the first the time. Goal, 50, and this Under time you see him on the short stick, getting a little bit of space and then just burying one stick side high over Erlin. And we do. Army doing a great job keeping Cornell to the outside and winning their one-on-one -on -one matchups. Curse turns and fires on the tough angle. Gets that one into the cage past Wyatt Schupler and Cornell finally on the board here in the second it is seven to one and a much needed goal to stop the bleeding from Cornell's young star cursed great job to attack from X and 
you see a curse looking at the sideline, hoping this will get Cornell going, but you get another look at this one late in the shot clock. Curse is a lefty, but he attacks to his right side and from essentially no angle, somehow gets this come away with it. They press against the sideline. That's a ball Cornell's got to come away with or just force the ball out of bounds for that regard, but Army's just been the tougher team thus far. Turn in the corner, Johnson able to get that shot low past Nust, and the Army offense continues to build on this lead now, 8-1. to one. So Cornell gets a big stop. They have a chance to clear. They throw the ball away. They have a chance on the ride to get the ball back. They don't, and then Army takes advantage. And this is just a strong move by Johnson. Does a great job. Turnover certainly will uh, will stunt any attempt of repeating that here this afternoon. Although this one comes loose and rolling to the corner. Do much scored some big goals, including the overtime winner against Syracuse. Man up chance and a goal for Coyle. So Cornell takes advantage. Coyle 17th of the season, now an 8-2 game. And so with that, we will step aside. Army still up big. Cornell, the latest tally coming up right here. This is College Lacrosse on ESPN+. The wings to get involved there. Unfortunately, it was a tough hop for him. But that, that's a better job by Petrakis. Marn again this time finds the back of the net. And Army back up by seven. It's 9-2. And that's just one you need your goaltender to save. It's a shot from well outside, 15 yards. Stick side low. As you get another look, just steps into this one. And when you're going to play zone, you're going to allow those type of shots. Perimming. But Cornell can't keep control. Bacafola ahead of for a moment, but knocked off of his stick. Still possession up, in, up for grabs. Pass intercepted. The behind-the-back pass taken by Bardwell. Piatelli with it, so Cornell can settle offensively now. Kelleher comes on as Bardwell goes off. Nothing easy for Cornell right now. Even simple clears. Army making everything difficult, and you have to tip your cap to the way they've played defensively in this one. Centering feed for Long, and the finish for Michael Long. His 17th of the season. Great look by Coyle. Good luck cut by Long, and Cornell gets its third of the afternoon. Jason Coyle's been Cornell's best player offensively so far. This is a great move at X. He has the short stick, a little invert. Hesitates, attacks to his left. Good cut after Coyle draws the slide, and that's what Cornell has to do more of. Well, it was either going to hit, uh, it was either going to be a goal or hit the pipe, and that's what <laughs> Billy Coyle had in mind. Either way, a positive outcome for Cornell. And good recognition to go right away. Here's Kirst with some room, the shot and a goal. He had a clear look. At Schupler gets it by the goaltender to get Cornell the first goal of this second half. It's now 9-4. to four. And we talked about getting Piatelli involved. C.J. Kirst has to be another guy and a great sign. All starts with Billy Coyle. Quickly gets it to Piatelli. Army late in their recognition. I don't know how you lose Kirst, but... Abshire hands this one off. Up top to Morant. Out of the right side for Reese Burek. Burek has Bardwell on him. Now Jacob slides. Morin hands off. Abshire. A little dodge and a nifty shot up top to get it back for Army. That's a great move by Abshire. Face dodge on maybe the best defender in the country in Gavin Adler. We'll get another look in a second, but I mean, this is beautiful. Army. Does a nice job working it around, yeah, forcing the rotation. Great face dodge and then going up high. Pating to shoot before he had full possession. Wertheim. Still time. 22 seconds left to shoot. Kelleher with it. Long steps out. Drops this one back, looking for Coyle. Does the same for Kirst, who winds and fires. Bounces it wide. 10 seconds left on possession. Now 9 seconds with Long looking for... A chance to make a play. Steps in front for Coyle, who finishes with three seconds left on the shot clock. Coyle, who you deem to be Cornell's best offensive player in the first half, 
able to make his mark here in the second. It's now 10 to 5. This is a great handle, Jason. And we saw the opposite happen in the first half. We saw Coyle go from Max, draw the slide, and then find Long. This time it's Long beating his man. You see the slide from 27. You see Gavin Adler talking to the rest of his defense, particularly Bozzi, saying he's the one that's got to rotate over because Adler's got to keep an eye on Nick Turn. Yeah, Adler has uh, certainly statistically kept Nick Turn down, but there's a feed in front, as I say it, Spazito with the finish. And for Spazito, the Ithaca native, that is his first goal of the season, the junior midfielder. Makes it an 11-5 game. We talked about Nick Turn. Adler's the guy who's covering Nick Turn. So much about communication, and there just isn't a whole lot of it here from Cornell. It is Nick Turn stepping out in front. And we don't see Adler on him. It's Jacobs closest to him as winding and firing and getting the goal is Bobby Abshire. 12 5 Army with the lead. Talked about what this kid could do as a shooter before. We saw him with the right on the face dodge in tight this time, coming from up top. Shifty split dodge to his left. And I think this is one your goaltender's got to have. This is to him. Now here's Johnson. Jacob stays with him. Kilbasa over to Spazito looking for his second of the game, second of the season. He gets it and gives Army a 13-5 lead. And with that, we will step aside. Army on a bit of a run here in the third, extending its lead to eight. This is College Lacrosse on ESPN+. Plus. Field heave ends up working out for Army as Burek made a nice catch behind the net and controlled it with Dory on him. Spazito hat trick bid and a score! Spazito, the Ithaca, New York native, without a goal this season, entering the afternoon, picks up his third of the day, and Army now on top, 14 to 5. And the goal is scored by number seven, Ryan Spazito, unassisted. And this is just too easy. Army 14, Cornell 5. Spazito with speed, help is this off to Gunnar Phillip, 25 seconds left to shoot. Phillip turns the corner, bounces this low. Nust looks at the side of the cage, and it's in. Wasn't quite sure where it was, but Army with the goal. And now a 15 to five lead. So here in the second half, Jackson, Army not just maintaining, but extending its edge. And you look at the, the play there. Adler. Second line midfield is on Alex Holmes with speed. Matthew Horace for Army, behind the cage, along with Holmes for Cornell. He's doing a great job defensively. But he falls, and Holmes able to turn the corner and get Cornell back on the board. It's now 15 to 6. Yeah, good case of the broadcaster jinx there. <laughs> Jason, he did a great job pressing out on him for a long time, but finally Holmes is patient and gets him to trip over the cage. You get another look. His left foot just slips on the metal. On the bottom and corner. Lachardi looks behind him, sees he has room. That's about the fifth time today Kelleher's caught the ball out of the box or from midfield and just gone out ahead of steam, and Pryor's been up to the challenge. Kirst, tough angle, and he gets it up top. We have seen C.J. Kirst score some tough angle chances, and for Kirst, he's, uh, he's certainly been in the mix for Cornell in this contest. Picks up a hat trick now to go along with an assist. And C.J. Kirst cuts this lead to eight. The, the great goaltenders move with their bodies so well. Here's Paul Johnson, big first half for Army, hands it off, and the shot and a goal, the finish by Reese Burek. And Army back up nine, it's 16 to seven. You get a look at the celebration too. Not quite sure what that is. I'm <laughs> sure there's a, a reason and a method to it. Always a method to the madness. You get another look at the goal, you just can't leave shooters. And question, because you thought it really wasn't a question coming into this one, now it certainly is. And whether that's deserved or not, I'm not really sure, but 
Well, Connor Busick telling us, uh, telling us before the game that uh, Chase is their guy, and he's played like an All-American all year, of course, as we have another goal here by Army. This time it is Nick Turn with his second of the afternoon. Chase Erlin has, uh, again, a, a tough game on Monday, but uh, this Cornell coaching staff confident to come right back with him. And uh, with Nust uh, having a similar game this afternoon as uh, Erlin had before getting pulled as uh, Nick Turn. And to the tournament, you don't know what that rude awakening feels like until it's too late. Piatelli gets on the board for Cornell. It was just a matter of time. Nice spin, nice shot. And it's now 17 to 8. Career goal number 122. One behind John Levine for seventh place. All time here at Cornell. And this is the John Piatelli we know. Nice job spinning to his right hand. Such a good shooter. And something Cornell's got to figure out down the stretch. Oh, we see Brian Piatelli on. And there is the finish by Alex Holmes. So Holmes with his second of the game. And with some uh, new faces out there for Cornell, it is Holmes with the finish and Cornell's ninth of the afternoon. It's a great back cut Big red goal scored by, by Holmes. Alex Holmes. The game. Speaking of families, Brian Piatelli picks it up for Cornell. Younger brother of John Piatelli. He'll hand this one off. Turning the corner and getting the goal for the Big Red is Joe Wolf. He, uh, his dad didn't play lacrosse. He did play in the NFL with the Cardinals. And his uh, uncle played football at Penn State. So an athletic family, but not a lacrosse family per se. Joe Wolf trying to change that is the midfielder. Picks up his first goal of the season. Cornell's way and the Big Red will look to regroup. Final two regular season games in Ivy League play as it is official now. The final, Cornell Army 17, 10 Cornell 10. 10. And for Army, if Army ends up in the NCAA tournament weekend. without a Patriot down. League title, I think you can point to this game as the game that got them in. Certainly. And we talked about they dominated from start to finish. I mean, they won the first quarter.